Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the first video back since vacation. Uh, I just got off work and I'm getting ready to go to a concert here in a couple hours. I'm going to chill for a little bit then I'm going to start getting ready. We're going to go see uh, Kit Moore, Tyler, I'm sorry I don't remember his last name, I feel so bad, um, but I'll mention it again later. David Lee Murphy, who I met when I was 14 at Fanfare in Nashville. I grew up with country music, and even though I do rock and metal, it's still kind of a part of my life, because you don't really, like, stop loving what you, how you learned, you know, music, and that's how I learned. So, we're going to this concert called Concert for a Cause. Um, it's at Miami Valley Gaming in Lebanon slash Monroe, Ohio. It's kind of on the border there. So, it's going to be fun. Okay, so in case you're wondering what I'm going to wear to the concert, I'm going to show you, you know, like, in case you're wondering, like, are you still going to wear your black ripped pants and, like, your combat boots and stuff like that, or are you going to go more towards, like, the kind of music, like, the way people tend to dress when they go to stuff like that. You know what I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, Anyway, I don't know what I'm saying. Ignore me. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to wear my leather jacket and stuff, but I'm also still going to be myself, so let me show you what I'm wearing. Obviously, I'm still going to wear my moon necklace because, like, I never take this baby off ever. It's, like, my good luck charm. Um, so, I never take that off. <laughs> it's going to be my OTD for the concert. And I'm going to wear my Fireball t-shirt. I wear this just like on a normal day with jeans usually. So, I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and wear it. And then my flannel shirt, which I usually just... Well, it's not even flannel. Like, this material is just like... Um, I don't know. It's not flannel, though. It's just like this light thing. It's kind of... Um, it's not cold out, but it's also not hot, so I can get away with it. And I'm just going to wear it unbuttoned, and I'll probably tie it or something. Maybe, if I feel comfortable with it. Like right here, towards like my waist. I'm going to wear this necklace. I uh, got it a couple years ago for Christmas. There was like a music note hanging from it, but I took it off because... I don't know, I just thought that it looked better with just this. I have a couple guitar necklaces, but I just feel like this looks better with this outfit, I guess. And so I'm going to wear this too. It says, music is better with you. And on the back, I'm not really sure what that says, but I'm sure that's brand. And then it says, Hard Rock Cafe. So somebody got me this from a Hard Rock Cafe, obviously. Um, so that's the top part. I'm going to wear my ripped jeans like I usually do. So I'm still being myself, you guys. I'm not really changing or anything like that. I'm not going to just, like, not be myself. Um, and then I'm wearing a belt. And that's why I'm tying up my shirt. It's not like a country belt. It's just a belt. Uh, I'm going to wear my brown boots. Not cowgirl boots or anything, just brown knee boots and uh, just my like little flap quilted purse just so I can hang it from like around my shoulder and I won't have to carry anything. And so that's just kind of like what I'm going to wear tonight, I guess. It's not really country and it's just kind of casual, but still very me. Get out of a out of the tub. This is trying to get kind of refreshed from work. I'm gonna just put on some more makeup just a little bit because this morning I had to be at work at eight and I've been working nights. So literally I woke up late, well, later than I should have. I was on time to work because I always book it, but um, I had ten minutes to get ready. That includes uh, 
pouring coffee and getting my stuff and leaving the house and putting on my uniform and all of that good stuff, including my face. So I didn't have much face on. So I'm trying to remedy that right now and actually look kind of decent tonight. Even though I'm kind of tired, but who isn't? If you're not tired, apparently you're not living your best life. So just accept it and go with it. Because I don't want to complain. Because I definitely am enjoying life. So I'm going to go ahead and finish refreshing my face. Put in my nose ring. Put on some lotion and some body spray. And then let my hair down and spray it with dry shampoo. Brush it. And get my outfit on and we have to still go eat and then pick up our friends who are going with us our best friends Richie and Ashley because I missed Richie's birthday and I didn't get to see him and that sucked out loud because he's like my brother literally I've known the kid since like seventh grade and uh, I'm gonna get the show on the road and go to the concert and hopefully have like a complete blast videotape you right now. Hi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Boys and girls. Children of all ages. <laughs> We're waiting on Richie to come outside so we can leave. <laughs> Because we haven't, well, I haven't seen him in, I don't even know how long. He's coming. Yay. That's what I said. They always ask me. Yay. It's exciting. Hurry. There they go. 
<laughs> Did you have fun, darling? I had fun. I had so much fun. That was fun. Yes. That's not something we do very often. No, not at all. Country concerts is not a common for us. Definitely not. But it was really cool to see somebody that you grew up listening to as a kid. Yeah. Sing songs. That you know. That you know from when you were younger. And it was just fantastic. Mm -hmm. Being able to see the Dust on the Bottle song live was awesome. It really was. With your best friends and your spouse. And, like, it was really special. And I really... I love that, like, we were sitting there when he was singing, like, I'll go anywhere with you. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, all of us. Yeah. It was, like, special to me. That it was a moment. Not to mention when we found out that David Lee Murphy writes a lot of songs for other people. He's a huge like songwriter. Blake Shelton, Kenny Chesney. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's... He wrote, like, iconic songs. Yeah. Songwriting's where it's at. I didn't even know he did that. That's that was great. Dorothy telling me that at Rock on the Range that one day she's right. Yeah. She really is right. However, I will say this: as much fun as we had, I have more fun at a rock concert. Yeah, it's I'm sorry, I do. It's not not putting the country stuff down. No, because we grew up with that. But uh, and I still do like country. Yeah. But it, I like rock better hands down that's that's me yeah um, i kept trying to throw metal then i realized like oh it's, it's this so isn't the different place for it. it's so different and it's <laughs> when you're used to a rock concert or rock shows or whatever we're, we're a wild bunch you don't realize it, until you go to that it, it's so it's such a different atmosphere it is the adrenaline isn't as and I, apparently the, i made somebody mad they left i got kicked it's okay <laughs> <laughs> he did that, that lady got pissed because we were just like goofing off but like I don't they didn't real. I mean some people are stuffy like that no matter what kind of concert you go to and and the thing was is like I wasn't I wasn't like obnoxious or anything like, we kind of were obnoxious the very first act though uh, yes we were I videotaped it I don't care. I'm, that's just me we were having fun and we're used to our kind of fun and I think some people don't realize you can have that kind of fun and not have to sit there with your hands in your lap singing the songs and then clap in between and that's it. Like, you can get up and be cray-cray and it's fine. That's what music is for. I feel. Some people go to church, I go to concerts. It's true. It's true. So that's where I feel it. So anyway, we had a really good time tonight, and this is where we're going to end the video because I'm just filming this one night. Uh, it was an eventful one, and I wanted to remember it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it, too. We're on the road back home. We're going to go home and eat turkey sandwiches, and he's going to pass out, and yep. I'm going to play on my phone until I get sleepy. <coughs> Alright everybody, till next video. Bye. Bye.